we are now in contact with this material world and material body and the weakness is that although we are eternal living force, on account of our contact with this material body, we have to take no tribulation, birth, death, disease, and all this. That we have to understand. In this material world, we are getting one type of body and it is ended at a certain stage, just like any material thing, take for example of your dress. Uh, you are dressed with a certain type of garment, but when it is old now, somehow you the go. Then you throw it, you get another dress. So this material body is the dress of the spirit living hope. But because we are attached to this material world, we want to enjoy this material world, we get different types of body. It is explained in the Bhagavad Gita as machine. Actually it is machine, this body. In the Bhagavad Gita it is said Ishara Sarubhutana Riddeshe Arjuna Sitsati Brahman Sarubhutani Jantra Rurani Maya. So, we living as we came, we desire. Man proposes, God disposes. God is very kind. Whatever you desire, He will fulfill. Uh, although he says that this kind of material desire will never satisfy, but we want. Therefore, God supplies us, Krishna, different types of body to fulfill our divine desire. This is called material conditional life. This body, change of body according to desire, is called evolutionary process. By evolution, we come to the human form of body through many other millions of bodies. Janajanam Rakhani, Sabara Rakhavimsati, we pass through. Uh, 900,000 species are formed in the water. Uh, similarly, 2 million forms as plants, trees. In this way, by nature's way, nature brings us into this human form of life just to develop or awaken our consciousness. Nature gives us the chance. Now what you want to do? Now you have got developed consciousness. Now you again want to go the philosopher scientist. If you want to know the value of this movement through science, philosophy, we have got enough uh, ingredients to supply. Otherwise, uh, it is simple, very simple. Simply chant these mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And everything will be manifest to you. Chita Dhatmana Marjanam. This chanting of Hare Krishna mantra means cleansing the core of your heart. Because our heart, our mind, our consciousness is now covered with so many dirty things. People charge this Hare Krishna mantra, then these dirty things will be clean. Then we shall be able to see what I am, what is my position, 
what is my goal of life, what I have to do. This is human consideration. The dogs, cats, they cannot do that. But a human being, they can uh, do it. Very nice. So, on account of this, you will find that this young man, not only from your country, but in other countries also, uh, in Africa, in Australia, in uh, Canada, in Europe, in Asia, everywhere, uh, as soon as they are understanding this philosophy, they are joining this movement, and it is not very difficult. We don't charge anything uh, for selling Hare Krishna Mantra. We are chanting everywhere as you, you saw this Rafa Yatra. Our, our only means is chanting Hare. And the thousands of men are following simply by chanting Hare. So you can understand. What is the potency of this Hare Krishna mantra? Uh, we do not pay anything, you ladies and gentlemen, to follow us, but we simply chant Hare Krishna. <coughs> so it is very potential. Narottama uh, Das Thakur is a acharya of Vaishnava Sampradaya. He has some. This Hare Krishna movement or chanting of Hare Krishna, it is not anything material. Therefore, you never feel tired chanting Hare Krishna. You see practically. You go on chanting 24 hours, you never feel tired. Therefore, it is said, Guruki Rapam. This chanting vibration is uh, coming from the spiritual world. Just like you receive material sound vibration in the radio uh, or television from distant breath, there is another machine which can receive the vibration in the spiritual world. That vibration is Hare Krishna Mantra. Gurokera Prema Dhana Hari Nama Samkita. Ratina Jamila Kanata. So I am so unfortunate that I did not get any attachment for chanting this Hare Krishna Mantra. Samsara Dhavanale Vimanishi Hiyajala. This Samsara, this material world, is very uncomfortable place. Uh, everyone is always full of anxiety. I am a rich you may be, I am a powerful you may be, but the anxiety must be there. Uh, you can understand your President Nixon, uh, how much anxiety he had when all people wanted him to come down. So this material world means in whichever position you may be situated, it doesn't matter. It is full of anxiety. Uh, this is called blazing fire, always burning the heart. So if you want to get relief from this uncomfortable position of anxiety, then you must take to this Hare Krishna. This is our request. You can try for it and and you see the practical result. It will not cost you anything. There is no loss about it. Uh, so our only request is we fold our hands and uh, begging you uh, so many uh, flattering. We simply request nothing is higher nothing possible. This is our process. Uh, we are not. Uh, very, I mean, what is called violent music. Now you see our procession came to me for three hours. There was no violence. And the police department of the country doesn't much appreciate because they have got experience. Whenever there is some procession, there is violence. Wind breaking crowd, they say. But these people are not wind breaking crowd. So, 
that uh, this Krishna consciousness movement, you have already accepted this movement, you are so many young men. So we request, this is an, another occasion to uh, invite you. So our only request is that you chant Hare Krishna Mantra. And you will be very much happy, there will be no anxiety. And then you can do your work, it doesn't matter what you are doing. But chanting of this Hare Krishna Mantra will make you uh, more and more happy, free from material anxiety, and if we continue this process, then everything will be clearly understood about spiritual life, and very easily we shall be able to go back to home, back to God. Now this occasion I may explain a little bit. Uh, here you see Jagannath and Balaram and Sudra. There Krishna and his elder brother and his sister Subhadra. Uh, there is a place uh, in India about 90 miles north of Delhi. We have heard the name of New Delhi. The place is named Purukshetra. It is accepted as the holy place in Grimen. People still gather there, especially during the evening. Solar and lunar eclipse. So there was one five thousand years ago, there was a solar eclipse. And all people from all parts of India, they came to Kurukshetra um, and Krishna at that time was Prince at Vata. He also came with his elder brother and sister. Krishna in his childhood, he was raised as the foster son of Mahayad Nanda and Mother Yasuda in Vrindavan. Then when he was grown up, he will find this history in the Krishna book. The incidence is that Krishna was the beloved personality in Vrindavan. So when he left Vrindavan, all the people there uh, they are very, very unhappy. So when Krishna came to Kurukshetra from Dwarka with his brother and sister, these people in Vrindavan, they got news that Krishna is coming there. Vrindavan is about the same distance. Uh, <coughs> Kurukshetra is greater distance. Anyway, they came to see uh, Krishna out of their love. And uh, the most beloved personality, Srimati Radharani, uh, she was requesting Krishna that you are the same Krishna and the same Radharani, but this place is not the same. Uh, you are here in Kurukshetra, in royal uh, opulence, and you are coming from the village. So, if you again please come to Vrindavan. This was Radharani's request. And it is very uh, ecstatic feeling. Those who are advanced devotee, they can enjoy. So, we observe this incident. Uh, annually, uh, in as many places in the Western countries, at the present moment, we hold this ceremony in London, San Francisco, Chicago, Philadelphia, and Buffalo, Melbourne. Melbourne, yes. Now, uh, this is a very feeling and uh, festival. So I thank you very much. We have come here. And try to understand our philosophy. We are all educated boys and girls. Uh, we have got 57 books. Try to read. 
and try to understand and take it very seriously and he will be happy. Thank you very much. Well, maybe you can... I the chariot through the center city. The Krishna followers pushed and pulled the chariot up to the Benjamin Franklin Parkway to the Art Museum. It wasn't the best day we've had to hold a... Christian Mass turned out for the Chariot Festival, which observes a 5,000-year-old event in the life of the Lord Krishna. Members of the sect are often seen on street corners with their heads shaved on the road. While some people dismiss them as products of a lost generation, the followers of the Hare Krishna movement are generally sincere in their beliefs.
Somehow I had you begun recognized by this. Free of this time may know that he is sincerely trying to do something. For an Krishna does not require your sacrificial master. He said that if we then that service that is for that is good for us. So to such person, Krishna executes. So Bhagavan Mulam, Yatam, Riyas, the part, now I tell you, there is a part like that. So the Oyane, no intoxication. I know that. The Western people will think, what is this now? <laughs> These are the preliminary facilities for human beings, and this man is denied. <laughs> they do not know it. Uh, some of our students left this institution. They thought that Sami is denying the primary necessity. So dark that they cannot understand what he said. Not only an ordinary common man, even the big man, Lord Jetland in England. So, Automatically, you can see the quality. 